Hello, hello, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. In the previous episode, uh, we, we don't actually talk about the first half of the previous episode, but then we arrived at the land beneath the green moon, Ixataka. We did a bit of sightseeing, found some discoveries. Uh, that ship that's sailing away from me, uh, you can actually sell discovery information right to them, so I don't have to go all the way back to the previous continent to uh, talk to a Sailor's Guild representative. Now, we're going over here. This is where the next town is, and I hope I can make it without uh, encountering something. Oh, please, 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 please. I made it. Look, a welcoming party. Uh, there are a bunch of people wearing masks. Uh, they have spears. Yeah, they look friendly. Are you Quetia? Huh? Uh, the girl in the white clothes. Is she Quetia? Fina, is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> what? What are they ta are they talking about me? Uh, we are blue rogues. We came across the South Ocean. Yes. You are not Quetia. You are the same as the other men from the East. It is best if you leave soon. Uh, and they've lost interest in us. Well, how about that? Well, what did I say? What what do they mean, Quetia? And who are the men from the East? Well, who do you think they are, Vice, please? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what they're talking about. Ah, oh, we should meet with the leader of the village. He might be able to explain what's going on here. Also, the trip across South Ocean has depleted our fuel supply. We need to stock up on moonstones if we ever want to leave this place. Huh, okay, well, let's find the leader of the village. Maybe we'll be able to find some moonstones here as well. Well, welcome to, uh, Hortica, I believe it was called. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do anything here yet. I think this is a store, maybe. Uh, hello. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I guess they don't want to sell us anything. So, we need to find wherever the village elder is. Because nobody's going to talk to us if we don't. Uh, do I remember where he is? The answer may shock you. Is he this way? Uh, no, but this is another point of interest. Uh, we've got this ship here, beached it looks like, and it looks like it's been here a while. Uh, hello, woman. To judge from your appearance, I gather you came from over Ocean Way? Uh, yes. Hello, kids. Who are you? My father's not here. Ah, uh, how about that? Who are you? Who are you? Ah, oh, yes, these, uh, these people don't really trust anyone, do they? Uh, I think there's something worth finding around here. Hello, youth. Hello, you don't seem to be from this town. Who are you? Well, I will explain everything off screen. Uh, or on screen. We're not. Uh, actually, we had to cross the South Ocean to get here. My name's Vice. Wow, you are able to cross the South Ocean? That's impressive. My name is Hans. Oh, it's good to meet you. We are Blue Rogues under the command of Captain Centim. Uh, we had to crash land here after a hurricane knocked us off course. Centim. He's the Blue Rogue that takes in orphans and trains them. I also heard he's a brilliant engineer. 
Yeah, he was. I mean, is. The Valuans kidnapped him and are forcing him to build weapons for them. We are staying here and working on the ship until he returns. Oh, I hope he returns soon. Oh, hey, Hans, I was wondering if you could help out some fellow blue rogues. Uh, we burned all our fuel crossing South Ocean. Do you think you could spare a few moonstones? Of course, we've got plenty to spare. Uh, here, take these. Oh, well, that was easy. Thanks, we owe you one. You really helped us out a lot. Is that really all it takes to power a ship? You're welcome. Well, I need to get back to work. Good luck. And I received the Moonstone Fuel. Huh. Now, I think we can actually go in this door. Is there anything in here? Oh, parts from all kinds of different ships have been used in rebuilding this thing. It must take a lot of skill to build something with such a random selection of parts. Huh, now I thought there was something around here to actually find. I could be wrong. Uh, oh, there is a chest. Uh, 25 Sacri Crystals. Don't mind if I do. But it looks like that's it. Okay, well, uh, let's head down again. And we have a village elder to find. Is there really nothing else around here? Huh, guess not. Okay, oh boy, hang on a second. Uh, yes, there was a cham as soon as I stepped out the door. How, how did I not find that on the way in? I guess I wasn't paying attention to Cupel yelling at me. Uh, if you are just joining this series, uh, I have, I guess, a virtual pet who lives in the memory card of the Dreamcast, and whenever there's food nearby, he yells quite, uh, quite loudly. It's rather shrill. A bit of a beeping noise, really. Now, uh, what is... What is this guy gonna say? You want nothing to do with me? You want nothing to do with me. Okay, uh, what is... What is this? Wee! Zip lining. And I found a moonberry. Awesome, I'll take it. How does this pulley work? Hmm, I don't know if that's physically possible. Then again, this is a land of floating rocks. But that is also not the way forward. So, down here, perhaps? Oh, this is quite a way down. Oh, and looking at the map, this place is a little confusing. <laughs> so, uh, well, here we've got another hut. Uh, they probably don't want to talk to me. What's in here? Oh, I think this is actually the way forward. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll explore town after when we can actually talk to people. So, what do we got? What's over here? More huts? More huts? Yeah, a lot of them. Uh, this... where does this lead? Uh, I don't think that leads forward. Oh, this must be the place I'm trying to go. Yeah, okay, you people look like you might be elders. Hello, sir. So, you are the ones from the east who people have been talking about. I guess so. Uh, so, you are from the east. Your people bring disaster. Leave this village immediately. Uh, wait a minute. Why does everyone keep talking about these men from the east and this Quetia stuff? I don't even know what a Quetia is. Quetia is our god. Generations ago, when the giant came to destroy us, Quetia appeared and saved our village. Ancient prophecies say that Quetia's messengers will come from the east and save us if our land is ever in danger. Hmm, I understand. And since we came from the east, that is why everyone thinks Quetia sent us. 
but if Quetch's messengers are supposed to save you, why did you people say the people from the east bring disaster? Even now, the men from the east are destroying our land. They claim they come from a place called Valua. Oh, Valua, they're here too? Yes, yes, Aika, they told us themselves. Weren't you listening? When the people from Valua came, everyone thought that Quetia sent them. Even the king came to greet them. The people from Valua said they wanted moonstones. Uh, we took them to our sacred mountain, where we keep glow rocks. So, the Valuans came to steal their moonstones. Well, isn't that just like them? And then, the people from Valua attacked us with fire-breathing iron ships. They took control of Sacred Mountain. Everyone, even the king, fought, but many were killed, and the forest was burned. The sa uh, survivors were taken as slaves. Oh, that's terrible. They're using your people to gather the moonstones so they can make weapons? Ah, so that's why everyone's so against the men from the east. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Oh, please, you have to trust us. We are different from the Valuans, the men from the east. We fight against Valua, so they can't hurt people. And that is why we've come all this way. We need a very precious stone called a moon crystal. Ah, yes. You want their stones, the Valuans want their stones. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Ah, you can't expect them to trust us. You're wasting your time, boy. Please, I'm telling the truth. Please. They eye each other warily. If you fly north from this village, you'll see a small hut in the middle of the forest. That is where our king is hiding. The kings of our land have always passed down the sacred green stone from generation to generation. This may be the stone that you seek. Your eyes, they are pure. I believe that you are here to help us. Please save our people. Uh huh. Thank you, I will not betray you. Well, that's reassuring. Let's go. We've got a village to save. Uh -huh. Oh, that went rather well. Uh, what do you have to say? Oh, you're an innkeeper. So, you're from the east. You look tired. Would you like a room for the night? It'll be 160 gold. What? Fine. Sleep well. After all that battling, I kind of have gold to spare. You seem refreshed. Come again anytime you need a rest. So, um, actually, off off camera, I did a bit of shopping. Uh, that ship outside that you can sell discovery information to, they also sell all sorts of weapons. So I've got some new stuff here. I mean, it's the same stuff I had before, but more powerful. I also found a whole bunch of random equipment while, um... You have nothing equipped? Nothing equipped? Wow, I should actually do something about this. Uh, but anyway, yeah, while I was fighting all those enemies, I got a lot of stuff off camera. So what did what did we get? Um, uh, Behemoths, this thing, Counter Bracer. Improves physical attributes slightly as well as counterattacking. Attack power and ooh, hit percent. Actually, this is very good for Drachma because uh, all of his weapons just have poor hit percent. Boost defense, magic defense, especially purple magic protects against silence. Huh. Oh, and I guess that's it. Okay. Well, I got a couple things. Wait, no, there's, there's more. Is this something only Vice can wear? Oh, it must be the black map. Yes. A map that leads enemy creatures to the holder. Also improves chances of a first strike. Now, that is a weird way of saying that the black map prevents enemies from running away. So it's good to have if you want to uh, beat up on loopers. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother wearing it right now. But there is one boss in particular you kind of want that for. Anywho, let's climb up here. I think there is at least one person worth meeting up this way. Right? Yeah, this is this is the right way to go. Uh, you guys look happy. 
The Elder said you defeated Valua, is it true? Uh, kind of. I have always believed in Quetia. I believe someday Quetia will come and destroy Valua for us. Maybe you were sent here by Quetia. Do you think so? Well, I guess you could say that. Uh, let's just keep on climbing up, though. This is going to be an episode of exploring the town. Because there's a lot of people to meet. Uh, yes, you. You are one of them, masked man. You are not a bad man. The Elder said so. I am Tika Tika. I was the first to see you coming. My eyes are sharper than the birds. I am proud of my eyes. If I concentrate, I can see anything, no matter how far. Shall I show you? Yes? Alright, here goes. Mmm. Impressive. Ah, a golden man to the north. I see a golden man. In the northern sky, there is a golden man. It is the truth. Go see for yourself. Yeah, I've actually seen him already, but thank you. Uh, oh yes, this is also something. Uh, a paranta seed, which is good. Maybe it's something I want to give Fina. I also have this. What is this? Increases vigor. I wish I knew what that does. Uh, here, you can have this cham. A uh, cupel can eat that. Uh, increases... Oh, power. Okay, yeah, Fina does not actually need power. Um... Ooh. Aika kind of wants power, probably. Hmm, even then? Maybe not. Maybe I'll save that for a character I don't have yet. With the benefit of foresight. Is there anything over here? I think there's another cham around somewhere. I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, we'll be coming back here one day, but not for a while. And back down I go, leaving those two to dance and play music. They're having a good time. Now then, uh, where am I? Where am I going? How do I get out of here? This way. So I guess the villagers will actually talk to me now. Uh, you, you are having a rough go of it. My son, he was taken away by the Valuans to work on Moonstone Mountain. Every night I have terrible dreams of my son crying and suffering on Moonstone Mountain. I am so sad, I am so sad. Yeah, that's a good reason to be. I guess if I really want to talk to these people, I should probably save the poor prisoners over at Moonstone Mountain. Uh, this over here, though... Again, there's something to see. Can I climb this? Uh, yes, I guess I can. This looks rather difficult to do, but... I think we have seen a couple times just how strong Vice is, so lifting his own body weight shouldn't be too bad. Huh, this just kind of keeps going, doesn't it? I hope there's something good up here. I see there's a slide leading down. Now uh, what's in here? Uh, absolutely nobody. Oh, that looks good. I guess Aika was right about the fruit here. <laughs> there seems to be plenty of it, that's for sure. Yes. Ah, uh, but nothing else in there, so let's go down the slide. Whee! Oh, and in first person. Oh, that is a corner I would not want to be sliding around. Hmm, yeah, I feel like you would go flying into the abyss. Ah, uh, but what's in here? Oh, it's a restaurant. Oh, it's a tavern. This tavern was a good tavern. Merida's dancing made everybody happy. My Lokwa kept everybody in good spirits. Then the Valuans came, captured some, killed others, and stole our food and drink. Merida won't dance anymore. The others won't laugh anymore. My tavern has nothing left. Yeah, I guess we've got to deal with the Valuans, huh? Oh, hey, you're Merida, the dancer of the tavern. When I dance, I make everybody happy, but I cannot dance anymore. The Valuans killed my father. 
and they killed many of my friends, too. Now when I dance, it does not make people happy, so I dance no more. And this has always bothered me. Uh, she is literally standing in the wall. Kind of weird, but you know what? I guess that's just how things are. Now, up here, I think there's actually more stuff to see. This is like a hidden door. Yeah, it is. Ooh, evil pineapples. And pink monkeys. What is this? It is a saccharine box. Sure, that could come in handy. Uh-huh. Is that picture worth noting? Maybe it is. However, we can continue to climb. And what do we have up here? Oh, we have a couple giant vats of something. I guess this is how they make their loqua. Uh, this jar is empty. Maybe they use it to carry the stuff that's in the big vat? Oh, I'm surprised I used the correct word. No, nothing else up here. Okay, is, is this everything? There's There's got to be a door. There is a door, okay. And another slide. Uh, only one? Yeah, only one, okay. Back down we go. Whee! Oh, and we're back where we started. Uh, is there something over here? There's a ladder. Okay... Where does this lead? Is this back to the beginning? Yes, it is. Okay, well, let's uh, let's talk to some people, now that they'll talk. You look for the sacred green stone, just like the Valuans. The Valuans demanded that I tell them where the sacred green stone was. They beat me over and over. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, the Valuans are not nice. Now, who lives in here? I'm just breaking into your house real quick. Uh, oh, you look fancy. The High Priest. From the East will come the one who can vanquish the great evil. That was the prophecy from Quetia. Quetia is a god from the East. Long, long ago, Quetia saved our forest from a dangerous enemy. Whenever our forest is in danger, Quetia always comes to our rescue. Uh-huh. Well, oh right, there was a store. Let's uh, let's check out the store before doing anything else, because we can probably get weapons and stuff. The elder says I must help you, so even though I don't like it, I will sell to you. Okay. Uh, thank you. What do we got? We got a hunter's sword. It's an improvement. Here, vice. A hunting arc. It's an improvement. Here, Ika. Miner's overalls. Uh, well, I mean, that's just a straight-up buff. Uh, hmm. The golden armor or the overalls? Do I want a little more defense or a little more magic resist? Oh, the, this armor is expensive. What the heck? I'll take the overalls, thanks. Yeah, Vice can have some, Drachma can have some. We're good. Fiber robe. Well... Now, for Ika, it lowers attack and will. I'm not a big fan of that. For Fina, it's just straight up better. You know what? Ika's already stronger than Fina. I think I'm gonna stick with the extra attack for the time being. What is this? A feather ornament imbued with the power of Quechia. Improves dodge and defense. Huh. I don't really want it. What do you have to say, though? For a long time. We did not fight wars. Weapons were only for hunting, or as defense from wild animals. But ever since the Valuas arrived, I have started making weapons for use against people. Oh, that's a little sad, actually. Dot, dot, dot. And I think I'm good for other supplies. 
Now, I thought there was another chest around somewhere. One that was a little bit out of the way. Let's see if I can find it. I think it involved this pulley system here, uh, wherever it is. Is it around this way? No. So I can go back... And yeah, there's nothing else here, is there? Huh. No, I guess that's it. I thought there was something more. Well, whatever. This isn't the last time we'll be in town, so maybe I'll remember later. Uh, anyway, now that we've seen the sights here, we have a bit of a mission to go on. I think it's a good place to end the episode. We don't need any more hour-long episodes. Not for a little while, anyway. So, in the next episode, we will go to the Sacred Mountain, where the Valuans are uh, causing trouble, and try to stop them from causing said trouble. So, if you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you join me again next time for the next exciting episode of this. Till then, ta-ta!